is going to be a vlogging test of this camera. Now the mics are being used directly from the iPhone 11 Pro and I'm not moving right now. There's a slight wind over here. So let's see as I start moving. Whoa. As I start moving, how much of the sound comes into the camera itself. Now I'm going pretty slow right now and you should still be able to hear me pretty well. There's the whine of the electric skateboard over here. Now this mic has got directional audio apparently and uh, it should kind of focus in on me as I'm going to do this. I'm shooting on the ultra wide 4K60 by the way. And you can see probably the beautiful, whoa, the beautiful sunset behind me. I just took some shots of that. You probably already saw that, but so this is the vlogging test. Now I'm going to go a little bit faster. Now I'm going pretty quick. So let me know, is the wind disturbing you guys? Can you hear a lot of wind noise? I don't know how it sounds right now, but hopefully it sounds good. outside it's not that humid as well so enjoy this time lapse of the Burj Khalifa all right guys we're quickly doing a video test now this guy looks a little blown out in the front facing camera this is what the vlog quality looks like now I do enjoy the fact that this camera is a bit wider so if I hold my, my hand out you can see a lot more in the frame but um, yeah I do feel like the colors look like the sky over here it looks a little bit washed out it's not it's not looking the full HDR as the back camera but still beautiful 4k 60 frames a second I think it looks great but uh, not as good as the back camera that's for sure That shot right there would not have been possible on the previous iPhone. It's just thanks to this ultra wide lens. Now the iPhone 11 has this ultra wide lens as well. So nobody's missing it on the wide lens if you buy it this year. Now the quality of the wide lens is not quite as good as the other lenses, but the good thing about it is at least you can get better audio quality because I can come pretty close to the mic over here and you'll still be able to kind of see me and my face is not like all up in the camera, which is cool. sun has set as you guys saw uh, we got to check out the beautiful fountains but now we're going to basically try to do a low light test how well these cameras do in low light this is the ultra wide camera let's check out what all these cameras can do in kind of low light it's not terribly low light but kind of low light and low light i think the regular lens the 1x is the best and the 2x kind of is not bad as well seems like the wide camera is the worst in low light which is expected it's got an aperture of 2.4 versus 1.8 and 2 of the other two lenses so this is filming me with flash right now so it should be pretty decent but uh, this turns on automatically by the way you don't have to turn it on if it senses that the light is low it'll automatically turn on the flash for you so you get a decent video but um but yeah, like if you want to shoot at night, better to avoid the wide lens. See, this is the difference. 
difference between the wide angle lens and now this is the regular lens and this is the 2x zoom so it's pretty clear that the 1x has the best low light capabilities like this looks fantastic whoa wasn't expecting that <laughs> guys this is the end of the camera comparison this is the selfie camera right now it's low light it's extremely dark over here i'm sure the video quality is not looking that great but this is the end of the camera comparison if you liked it hit that like button guys it took me a while to do this so please hit that like button i'll see you guys in the next one